Good morning, fans of Privateer FX. Coming at you, non farm payroll Friday. I think it's the 6th, yeah. Here we go again. Time to uh, attend the circus. The circus has been very, very tame um, this last year, so I'm not sure what to expect. Um, it's been really a dud type of day all year. We haven't had good non-farms, um, but we shall see what happens with the average hourly earnings. Um, the year-on-year -year number there is 3%. Uh, we're expecting 0.2 for the monthly on the average hourly earnings. And I guess we're expecting um, 150 today around. Uh, consensus is for 150. So let's just see how that goes. But this is the crude chart here. Uh, talked about failure at the highs yesterday on Twitter. Uh, we got shorted 60. We sold 20s. We bought 60s. We stopped ourselves out at 85. We resold 60s. We bought 40s. We tried to resell 75s. We did not get paid. Um, I don't know. I think this is turning. I'm terrible at trading this. Uh, looks like a turn bar on the dailies. If you look at the uh, hourlies, which we just had up, this looks like a head and shoulders, obviously, now. Neckline is uh, 58.10. And we have uh, the OPEC meeting today. So, I mean, the conditions for trading couldn't be any harder. So I don't even know why I'm mentioning this. I guess if you're a psychopath or a masochist, um, you may have this thing up, but I don't know. On like a super obvious level, this makes sense. The institutional book closed for Aramco yesterday. Looks like they're gonna it's gonna come out at around eight dollars and fifty cents. It doesn't open on the Saudi exchange until the twelfth, but the book is now closed for all of the big money. Um so if you believe that they've been sort of fraudulently supporting the price of oil um, for the Aramco IPO, there's really no need to do that anymore. Um, the money has all been secured. Um, Saudi Arabia just finished, I think, one of the greatest bank robberies in history, $1.3 trillion dollars. Uh, for one and a half percent, uh, or no, the valuation is 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 one point three trillion. Um, I don't know. I don't want to get into it, uh, the politics of it, but the chart says lower. Uh, the story, you, you, the story. I have no idea the story. You have to be an insider in the oil market to know the story. We are not, um, and you can tell we're not because we never make much money trading oil. But anyway, here's the chart. Good luck. Good luck out there, people with oil. Um, looks like it wants lower. Uh, Euro dollar, six point range going into NFP. Not much to say here, except for the fact that 111.15 is still on our mind. Uh, looking for this sort of range break type deal. This low here was sort of 111.13 there's kind of a pivot here um, we're looking for a weak one today uh, and if it is weak euro will be our horse good liquidity um, and range break on the cards no reason not to uh, consider dollar swiss except for it's just harder to trade 98.67 is sort of the same point and if it's really weak we're going to take out this 98.55 um, and then eventually this 
which really means it could be a waterfall in dollar Swiss. Uh, but let's not get carried away. Uh, and let's remember that non-farms have really sucked as far as a trading trading day um, for most of the year. Quickly on to dollars are bankruptcy of uh, South African Airlines confirmed. Seemed a bit old news. That news seemed a bit stale. People that I was, people that I was speaking to who follow the RAND um, a little more closely than I do, they told me that that news was already in there. Um, Fourteen fifty. This is for the Goldilocks weak number. So this is mildly weaker. Um, rates lower. Stocks higher. Um, Fourteen fifty. It's it's a percent away, so you know you, I doubt it today. But just keep it in mind. It's a level that we have to keep in mind. Dollar yen. We talked about this uh, 109.72 being the turn for the year. Uh, so far, it's proved prophetic. Uh, we did trade up to 109 yesterday, which was a bit of a surprise. But there's no real damage done to this chart. Um, you could call this a bit of a sideways action here um, and a negative one this goes lower again um, so I have to say the charts are set up for a negative outcome here in NFP we'll see if we get that um, I don't know I don't know finally Aussie Yen just as a risk metric this chart looks pretty good uh, we get that one tiny false break there but if stocks plunge today for whatever reason trade this is your horse. Um, the line comes in at twelve today, seventy-four twelve. And if you think this, if you and if you think that the deal is going to get done, this is also your horse. You should be long this. Um, we're of the camp that the deal is not going to get done um, in December. So, uh, but that's just a guess. So, we shall see. All right, that's all we got. There's not really, not really a whole heck of a lot to do. Uh, 7 a.m. now. We've got seven and a half hours or seven hours uh, until the circus begins. I wish everyone luck and good trading today. Um, it's been a moderately good week, so we should be thankful for that. And... Oh yeah, I'm traveling next week, right? I'll be in the States. Uh, got some stuff to do, people to see. Uh, so no videos uh, until Thursday next week, until ECB. And I guess Thursday is also going to be the UK election. So I'll do a video on Thursday. Uh, I get back from the States on Thursday morning early. And so, good luck. Uh... And I'll see you almost in a week's time, six days' time. All right. Have a good weekend, everyone. Uh, good luck with non-farms, and we'll see you next week. Ciao.